follow this a lot more than me. And as you can see, just like a sled team, if you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. So that's where I am. <laughs> That is, uh, everybody asked what a peep is. That is the dog that we're actually breeding right now. Uh, that is subject to change, but uh, that's really what it's showing. We have champions already. What is so, it? What is it? Petite Brussels Verden Grafant. The French rabbit dog. <laughs> so, cute little things. And anybody wants to know what they're like in the house, you can ask Lisa. She has one of them. So. Every animal, every human are made up of trillions of cells. That's basic, it doesn't matter, you know, either one. Uh, cells form tissue, tissues form organs. So that's the basis of nutrition and everything that we are in our bodies today. Free radicals, basically rather than getting a whole thing, mutate a normal healthy cell. As Dr. Dan and Janet would probably attest to. Uh, a lot of the reasons for that are poisons, uh, pest control, uh, cleaning supplies and stress. Poor diet and exercise are actually two of the biggest. And as far as the uh, pest control, we trust beans enough that they actually do our kennel for us. So we have very valuable dogs sitting there, and Dayton's comes in there and does everything for us, even in the home and kennel, and that's not an issue. So Dayton's is great. Most people don't even think, though, that poor diet can control that much and also exercise. That's why a lot of people, when they see like a marathon runner, all of a sudden falls down and drops dead. It's like, well, he was so healthy. Well, exercise actually causes free radicals. So you actually have to watch what you eat where you're exercising. Most people do that just eat empty carbs, just like a lot of dogs do when they, and when they exercise. You just get throw anything. With empty carbs, it doesn't do anything for nutritional value. Antioxidants basically neutralize free radicals. It's the only thing that really will. So think of it as an apple. You cut an apple in half, it starts turning brown, kind of like the aging process itself. Antioxidants neutralize free radicals. So it actually can limit the aging process and free, uh, this is the first time I'm doing this whole thing, so give me a little bit of a break today here. Free radicals actually cause, are causal effects of every major disease known. From cancer to kidney disease, you name it, free radicals are really the causal effect of all of those. So if you can stop free radicals in your system, you're going to live a lot longer, a lot healthier, and stay away from the vet for, for animals. The other thing is, what's the number three reason for death in the U.S. today? Who can answer that? Three. The number three reason for death in the U.S. Cancer. today? Cancer. Smoking. <laughs> well, he's wrong, but he's got a good answer. <laughs> Too much sex. <laughs> well, it's, actually, it's actually the U.S. healthcare system. That's the number three killer in the United States today. The U.S. healthcare system is the number three killer in the U.S. today. Very similar to the vet. The only option is a vet. If the price gets too high, you can actually put the animal down, which is not always a good solution, but it does come down to money and time. Now, other than healthcare, what's excluded from healthcare? And the size therapy doesn't include in that. Thank you. So you think if you need Amy before you get sick, you really, if you don't see her before you get sick, you're going to really be, because after you're sick is when you're going to have more of your problems. Same thing with animals. If you're healthy and you don't have to go to the vet, you don't have a lot of the issues that are caused by being at the best office. Some of that's misdiagnosis. Uh, drug interaction, uh, doctors aren't into health and wellness, they're into, I give you a shot and I fix you. The thing we're focusing on now is supplements. The digest digestive system houses two-thirds of the cells that work for your immune system. A human digests food in one to two days, so you have a lot of time to get the nutrients out of it. How long do you think it takes for a dog, say, to go through the digestive system for a dog? 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. about four hours. <laughs> 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 
Four hours. Three and a half hours. Three and five hours. So if your dog doesn't get the nutrients out of the food in three to five hours, it's gone out of the system and it's useless. Normal dog food, the, the thing of normal dog food is always supporting. If it was dying, dead, diseased, or decayed, it would go into dog food. That's typically what you get from the store when you buy this generic dog food. A lot of people say, I'm going to feed my dog what I eat. Well, as you can tell by the digestive system, what you eat and what your dog can eat are two totally different things. A lot of times what you eat can actually kill your dog, like chocolate. Right. And peppers and onions. You get certain things to your animal, you can actually kill it. A lot of people say human grade food. Well, if I look and I buy human grade food when I buy my products. Modern food processing actually depletes nutrients out of the food that we eat today. That's the same thing for dogs. I could probably do 10 minutes just on the genetically modified organisms. That's the things that you eat. If you ever see GMO on anything you buy the ingredients, put it back down again. If it's been genetically modified, a lot of countries are even excluding that from being able to be sold in their country. The United States actually was going to do wheat, and the rest of the world said if you change your wheat, we won't buy it from you. So that's how dangerous genetically modified organisms are. Who knows what percent of antibiotics in the United States are fed to cattle, pigs, and poultry. Seventy-five percent. That seventy-five percent of the antibiotics in this country are fed to the animals that we're feeding to our animals, or you're eating yourself. Another example is cattle. This is a lot of the dogs. Mm -hmm. Cattle used to be mature. I think until the 60s at five years of age, I believe. George, do you know? In the 60s, they changed it to three years. Right now, most of the big producers, it's down to 18 months. So how are you taking a cow that used to be mature in five years? Growth hormones. Steroids. Steroids. Uh, hair hormones. That's what's going into the meat that is going into your pet. You're also eating it, but we're talking about dogs today. So you're, whatever applies to this also applies to you sitting in this room today. So it isn't really what you are what you eat. You are what you can digest. Where your pet comes into play, your pet is what you give it to, see, to, to eat. Because it can't go out and hunt for itself, and it can't drive to the grocery store. So you are solely responsible for the health and well-being of your pet. Just a little fun fact. Dogs can understand about how many words? 150. 100. 50. 160. That's only a third of Australian shepherd. I firmly believe cats can understand all of them. They just don't really don't care. This is true. This is true. So that's why we went into wellness solutions. We treat the whole animal. So we have three dry treats, skin care, treat care, and supplements. Uh, a lot of people have asked me already, we're not going to at this point do dog, uh, cat food, dog food, things like that because there's so many things in the market today. If you have the right supplements, as long as you have a solid base, you're good to go. But you need the supplements to have that. Because as I said before, the body produces those Antioxidants, when you're younger, as soon as you reach a certain age, you really stop producing those. So what do you feed your pet? In the dining room table, organic, holistic, raw. Uh, there's so many questions. Rather get involved with all that, that's why it's better off just doing a good supplement. Our supplements, the primary things on that, create a shiny, healthy coat, increase utilization of the nutrients in the food, Less food in, less food out. That's always good if you have a really big food, like a, a big animal, like a you know mastiff. Uh, reduces uh, sensitive stomach issues. That's always a, a thing to stress. And changes and a change of diet causes that in animals. Strengthens the immune system. Reduces aches and pains common in older dogs, just like joint discomfort. Antioxidants help with that. So good supplement helps with those aches and pains. A lot of this sounds like I'm just, you're talking to normal people. Same with the animals. 
in the ingredients are rich in antioxidants, probiotics, uh, vitamins, and minerals. So a lot of people would say, it's all over, why would we deal with, with you? What's your you know, knowledge base? Been in this for over 30 years as an owner, breeder, we've done confirmation performance. This is my wife and I. Uh, many different breeds, from poodles to mini dachshunds, labs to PBGVs, pugs to like Nikita. We actually did cats. Uh, we uh, bred and uh, show cats. Uh, as said before, the standard poodle actually is the second smartest dog. What's the first smartest dog? Australian Shepherd. Poodle. Lab. Poodle. 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 Making, we go direct to the manufacturer and the owner of that company. We support American manufacturing, small business. So a lot of what we do is through Tennessee, West Virginia, Georgia, Florida. So we don't go out of the country for anything. Our products are made with premium U.S. sourced ingredients. And we also provide a personal service. If you have questions or need advice, you can call us. And we have a huge resource of uh, breeders and handlers and uh, nutritionists. Uh, one of the nutritionists we're dealing with now is an internationally known nutritionist with over 100 uh, patents. So we have a good base to choose from to get answers to any questions you have. <coughs> good referral for me. This dog breeder or handler. A, and actually a warm introduction to the best. A dog breeder or handler, a small, a small pet retail staff establishment the big chains, they actually like buying from China because it's a lot cheaper. A dog groomer or a doggy daycare. A pet owner who's concerned with a, their pet's health and well-being. And if you notice the vet's in the bottom, if you know a vet that's really concerned about animals and really wants you to be out of their office, that would be a good referral. A lot of vets are like doctors. Uh, they know to give you a shot. Actually, one of the biggest differences between vets and doctors, a doctor usually works on one organ. There'll be a heart doctor or an eye surgeon or whatever. A vet doesn't even care what species you are when you walk into the office. So, a lot of ways are a lot better. So, those would be good referrals for me.